Abby here, and I just want to give you a few tips um, on deadlifts. We don't do those a lot here at the Ballet Physique, but when we do, um, we've noticed that some people are maybe just a little bit confused about where to feel it in the right places and whether or not you want to know whether or not you're doing it correctly. So my first tip involves a broomstick or a straight edge of some kind. What you're going to do with this is place it along your back and you need to make three points of contact. One right at your sits bone, or your tailbone, another in your mid back, and then your head is gonna make that third point of contact. So we've gotta hinge forward, keeping that flat back position. Um, and this can be a tricky thing to feel when you don't have something tactile to push against, right? You may be thinking, I'm gonna take a flat back forward, but all of a sudden we get into a pose like this that isn't actually a flat back, right? You can see my back is rounded. Um, and without that feedback from a tool like this, you might not know that you're not in a flat back. So again, if you have something like this at home, just try it a little bit. You're gonna take your tailbone, your mid back, and the back of your head right against that broomstick or yardstick or whatever you have. Your feet are planted flat, barely gonna bend your knees at all, and you're just gonna work on your hip hinge, okay? This is the basic movement of a deadlift. So once you have that going on, you can ditch your broomstick then you can add some weight to it, okay? And this is how we've cued this in class. So imagine that you have that broomstick behind your back and we're gonna hinge forward. The weights make you feel the work in your hamstrings a lot more because there's something carrying you down here. Then to get to the top, you keep that flat back position, but think about squeezing the backs of your legs and your glutes as you come up to the top. And I'm okay with a little bit of a tuck forward just because it exaggerates that booty squeeze, okay? So again, imagine that I've got that broomstick Notice that my back is nice and flat. I'm not moving my shoulders, I'm keeping them pulled back, and the weights are just dangling straight down from my shoulder socket. Okay? So again, the only joint that's really moving here is the hips, okay? Now, Kristen has another variation that she often shows in her classes. This one gets a little bit trickier because you're offsetting your stance. What we're gonna do here is target the front leg more than the back leg. Nothing changes through that torso. Arms are gonna remain the same, but you're hinging forward and then coming back up. Now I can already feel this a lot more on my left leg because instead of distributing the weight between two feet, I have now put the majority of the weight on my front leg to do all the work on that side. So again, if you're ever confused about your deadlifts, know that if you're not feeling it in the back of your legs and your hamstrings and then at the very top with that glute squeeze, something probably is off. So I would recommend trying some of those tips.